Howdy everybody, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fantastic. So today we are gonna be doing an emergency food storage stock up. We are having a fantastic sale at Ingles. Ingles is very expensive. But when they have a good sale, by golly, they have a good sale. And it's a good sale, so we're going to do that. So we're going to go stock up. I haven't stocked up in a good month because I've been so busy. So I'm taking my money that I have saved in my stockpile envelope. And we're going to go stock up on a few things at the good old Ingles. It's a lot of mac and cheese. Yes. Yeah. I love this cell. Hey, boo boo. Start making room. See, I'm sure I can't reach them. So we have to get this dude. Thank you, sir. No dips, no dips. Yeah. Ingles is super crazy expensive, but when they have a sale, by golly, they have a sale. I haven't done emergency stock up in a couple of weeks, so I'm making up for it now. Hello. Hello, everyone. So, um, we just got back from Ingles. I'm going to show you my emergency food storage haul for the month, really, because I haven't did it all this month. I've been so busy, but I'm glad I waited because Ingles had killer sales. Now, you may be wondering, Brooke, convenience foods. Okay, I don't buy convenience foods like this hardly ever, like hardly ever, honestly, but these were 50 cents a piece this week, 50 cents. You can get a four pack at Walmart for like three seventy eight. dollars They're like a dollar a piece and I got it for 50 cents. And you know what? So the kids can leave me alone. Um, when they want a snack or something quick to eat, they can just make a microwavable Easy Mac. Ingles brand, but it tastes the same. So I call that a win. So here we go. I got 18. Six of each of the flavors, the original shells and cheese and triple cheddar. We got 18 of these babies for 50 cents piece. Six of the Skeddies. Rigatoni, large seashells, a ZD, and another large seashell. I got six black beans. These were on sale for 58 cents piece. And three of the Pinto beans with onion, 58 cents piece. And these were 98 cents. So that's my emergency storage haul for the last month. <laughs> My emergency food storage stock up was $24.02, and I think that is a great deal for all of the things that I got. If you have not started an emergency food storage yet in your home, I really encourage you to do so. It can save your bootay, baby. Take what we do around here, we take $5 a week usually, and we spend five bucks on pantry stable items or freezer friendly items so we can have a stock of food for just in case now if you don't have a pantry started already i suggest you look at the videos i have linked in the description box below and it'll show you some of the things that i think personally that i think are fantastic starter pantry items you can do it at walmart dollar tree wherever you want i think everybody should have one because you never know what can pop up so, have y'all ever been to Bucky's? I know you've probably heard of Bucky's. We got a new Bucky's. First Bucky's around in these here parts. We've been to Bucky's before on vacations and stuff, but we've only got one. And have y'all ever had their like, what is it called? Big Texas Philly cheesesteak burrito mouthful. Man, those things are so good. They're so good. But I ain't paying $8 for a burrito. That's redonkulous. Bucky's. Be more budget friendly for us folk. 
Aunt Nita, she was talking about how she loved it the other day. And I was like, you know, I really love it too. And I want one, but I'm not paying eight dollars. So, <laughs> I'm gonna try to recreate my own. Ingles had these on sale, buy one, get one free. This big box of 14 was only $4.88. So, I'm going to try to recreate the Bucky's Big Texas Philly Cheesesteak. Hopefully, I can do it. I got some bell peppers from my garden. I got some onions from my garden. I got some, I got some burritos. Burritos. I have flour tortillas. And I'm going to, I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try. I got cheese. We're doing it, y'all. Well, I'm going to give it all I got. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm totally making this up as I go. But I feel like it needs butter. I, I feel like I just need to cook it butter. I don't know why I'm doing it. Butter. Man, these are all got that paper in there. I hate them like that. It's fine. I'm struggling. There. I'm doing a big dollop of garlic, minced garlic. A few dashes of Worcestershire Asher sour. A few pinch of salt, pinch of pepper. I feel like I need a little bit more Worcestershire fire. All right, in this measuring cup, I put a tablespoon of cornstarch and a tablespoon of beef bouillon powder. And a half a cup of water, and I'm going to mix it up and set it aside. I got a new cutting board. Thanks to Miss Susan Moore for sending it to me. Also, thanks to everybody who has sent me anything in the mail recently. I really appreciate every bit of it. You guys are the best. And Kylan did get his gift. A nice friend sent Kylan a new Bible and a memory verse book. He was so excited when he opened that. Normally I do strips for fillies. But since I'm putting it in a burrito, I think it would be easier to eat it if it's diced. I'm going to go ahead and put these in the skillet with the meat. Okay, I got a couple of garden onions here. adding some mushrooms. That's enough onion and I don't want to go back out and pick any more because it's really wet today so I'm going to squirt some easy onion in here for flavor. a little bit more Worcestershire sauce. A couple squirts of ketchup.
I'm going to continue cooking this until them veggies are done. And then I'll add that mixture we made with the cornstarch. I'm going to let this simmer, get a little thicker, then I'm going to throw the cheese in. I'm going to throw all the provolone cheese, non-smoked, in here and let it get melty. Because I know the Bucky's Philly Cheese Burritos, the, the cheese is all melted inside. It's not just in one spot. The ones that I get anyway. have my warmed up tortilla here. Me and Dusty decided a long time ago that if it's a Philly cheesesteak, it's always gonna need mayo. It's just, it just has to. And you may have noticed I didn't drain the butter out of the Philly cheese. That's because I don't think they do at Bucky's. It's always got some grease in it. Oops. What a mess. Let's roll her up like a burrito. Did I do it? I don't know. <laughs> Let's make some more for everybody else. I'll let this sit here and cool down. What do you think? What do you think? It's as big and heavy as the buggies. Mm. And it is as messy already. A little bit better. Is it really? It's very messy. It's messy. But it's good. Take that, Bucky's. He said it was a little bit better. Hi, buddy. So, you know Bucky's Big Texas Philly Cheesesteak Burritos? Yeah. I tried to recreate it. Let me know how it did. I pretty good. Um, Daddy said it was better than Bucky's. What do you think? Yeah. <gasps> oh, God. Better. Are you for real? Mm -hmm. Take that, Bucky's. Let's take a look at her. <gasps> she looks like Bucky's. Alrighty, guys. I'm trying this in two. Robert's not trying it because he had popcorn shrimp. So did Kyla. Please be like Bucky. It's pretty stinking close to Bucky's. It really is. The mayonnaise is what makes it close. Does Bucky put mayonnaise in there? Now, the reason I left the butter in there and I didn't drain it, I'm so messy, is because Bucky's doesn't. <laughs> if you've ever had one, you know how messy that is. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this sit and cool down. And then I'm going to fill up the rest of the tortillas I have, wrap them up in aluminum foil, 
I'm so messy. And then take them and put them in the deep freezer so we can just zap them in the microwave. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a fantastic weekend. I love you guys. I'll see you next video. Remember, as always, be positive, be kind, be happy, and let others be happy. And I'll see you later.